Next press pick number 13, John Hannon. Two minutes for hold. parts of this period is Sean Hannon in the penalty box for Brampton. Midnight, chance to clear. Kept in momentarily though by Cody Donahue. Donahue puts it down low for Martell. Martell up front, shoot, scores! Zach O'Brien comes in. He takes the feed from Danique Martell. And the squad from Newfoundland jumps out to an early one to nothing lead over Midnight. Team's back at even strength now. Midnight looking to get an answer from that power play goal. As Zach O'Brien of the Black Horse snipes on the power play. Here's a chance for the Express, and they're going to draw a penalty of their own. This penalty looks like it's going to be going to number 21, Brandon Bussey. He's going to go for tripping from the Newfoundland squad. Midnight Express going to go to the power play. Right off the bat, folks, anybody watching last night have to issue an apology. I was calling the Brantham Midnight Express goaltender Daniel Medeiros last night. In fact, it was Dave DiGeronimo, and DiGeronimo had an outstanding game in between the pipes for midnight. So my apologies to David, especially when you play that good of a game, you certainly want to make sure your name is right going out there. So certainly full marks to David DiGeronimo for his effort last night in the 2-1 Brampton win. Patrick O'Keefe now trying to buy some time down in the zone, kicked out to the line for Brampton. Number 16, Mitchell Bryan. Bryan. Mitchell Byrne, sorry. Back for Byrne now. He's going to swing at the other side for Hannon. Hannon winds, he doesn't fire. Hannon, back for Bryan. Bryan to Matt Tremblay. Tremblay. He's going to kick it down low. Back out for Tremblay. Tremblay couldn't get a stick on that one. Away comes the Black Horse. Pass sent away. Almost sent in Danny Wicks in all alone. Danny Wicks out there killing the penalty. Almost got the pass in from Nathan Yetman being sent in. Midnight behind the net on the power play. Move the ball out to the side. It comes back to the point. Here's Brian. Mitchell Brian. He's going to move it across for number 94, Anthony Loveless. Loveless kicks it down. No pass across to the crease. No one there. Chance for Newfoundland to clear it. And Clark Bishop is going to move it out to the board. Newfoundland being very aggressive on this penalty kill. Connor Donahue out there now. Midnight. Gain the line. That's number 11, J.K. Gill. He puts it back and is knocked in deep now. 20 seconds still remain in the penalty. That ball is going to go out of play. And we'll go for a faceoff.
And Yetman with his first big save of the game, and he looked really sharp there coming across and stoning Hamdani. 1-0 Newfoundland, 13-12 left to go in the first period. From the draw, midnight. They establish a good offensive zone presence right from the faceoff. Ball put down behind the net. Pressure on the outside by the Black Horse. Midnight players upended, no call, play continues. Number 25 from Newfoundland, Nathan Knoll just takes a bump, but he manages to move the ball. Ball comes to Danik Martell from Bishop. Bishop back to Martell. Martell in front to Knoll. Knoll couldn't get a stick on that one. Martell walks around. Newfoundland players whacking at the ball down low. I'll be shocked if there's no penalties here. Clark Bishop with about six or seven. Paul Bunyan like swipes at the ball. Ball was there though. I could see it from up top so I can't blame him for swinging. Referee must have saw it as well. Nothing after the whistle. Little surprise there. And once again, I don't blame the defenseman either for taking Bishop into account after those swipes. Referee's gonna try to let these guys play by the looks of it here in the early going. Face off is gonna be to De Geronimo's right. Face off, won by the Express. Ball is just batted in, now the Express take a turn to come out. Knocked back by Brad Yetman. Bishop, back door feed for Noel. Noel threw it in front as Martell was coming through. Ball's thrown out in front again. Noel, fighting for position with James Mentis. James Chicky Mentis, a veteran of this Midnight Express roster. Ball stopped out in the neutral zone by Yetman, Bradley Yetman. Three Yetman brothers playing on this team. We got Bishop is tied up along the wall with someone. Penalty coming up to midnight. Delayed penalty call going against the Express goaltender De Geronimo out of his net. That was a dangerous play, but the Midnight Express do indeed touch it up. And we'll see the Newfoundland Labrador power play get their second opportunity. They're one for one so far. Black Horse to the power play, face off, one by the Express, and they'll move it down safely out of harm's way. That'll send Jordan Escott back to pick it up for the Black Horse. Escott looking to get it off to Marcus Power Line, instead turns it over, two on one opportunity for midnight. Ball was sent in, Sean Hannon trying to get to it, couldn't come away with it, and away come the Black Horse. Back, they've got numbers. Danik Martell's gonna lead the charge. Martell, backhand pass, finds Eskett. Eskett kicks one down low for power, back for Eskett. Eskett across for Donahue. Donahue rims one high and wide. Eskett manages to knock it down. Eskett back for Martell. Martell kicks one into O'Brien, back for Eskett, down low for power. Out to O'Brien, shoots, scores! I don't know if Black Horse could draw it on the board any better than that one. That was just tic-tac-toe. Here we go. Black Horse with their second of the game on the power play, and it's becoming apparent for Midnight to play with this team. They need to stay out of the penalty box. Five on five. Both teams look very even here so far, nine minutes in, but Team Black Horse on the power play. Nothing short of lethal there. Back at even strength now. 
Penalized players still staying in the box, but the teams actually do be at even strength. There's a long shot from the point. Yep, and steers that one aside. Picked up by J.K. Gill. Gill had Hemdani open out front momentarily, but the Black Horse come away with the ball. Here's Gill. Gill's going to pick it up on the line. Gill under some pressure from Joe Trenholm. Going to be a penalty, I believe, and it looks like it might be going against Trenholm. Trenholm going to be getting the penalty for interference. And now the Midnight Express will get a power play opportunity to get back into this one. You're watching the 2017 Canadian Ball Hockey Association National Championships live from the Harbor Station in Lord Beaverbrook Arena in St. John, New Brunswick. Brought to you exclusively by 5 TV1. Long lead pass there, shorthanded for Newfoundland. That's going to send Danny Wicks in. Wicks, a couple of really good earlier shifts shorthanded. He's out there now with penalty killing specialist Nathan the Dog Gepman. Midnight coming up to the line. Midnight looking to make some motion now on the line. They're going to instead go for the long dumping. Yetman sees that one all the way. Midnight player comes in, shot, rebound. Yetman with a save. Rebound just goes wide. Thomas Hedge is behind the net trying to clear it. Gets it out to Yetman. Yetman, chance to come away, but great second effort there by the Midnight player. Hedges with a nice backhand pass. Finds Brad Yetman. Brad Yetman going to stop, settle things down. And he'll fire it down the floor. Going to give the Black Horse team a chance to make some line changes. Ball sent down the floor. Icing going to be the call. Hannon couldn't pick that one up on the side. And just about halfway through this first Midnight Express, second Midnight Express power play. Nothing doing for the Express so far. Scores 2-0 Newfoundland here in the first period. Face off in the Express territory. Midnight going to come away with it. Mike Porter, he makes a cross feed pass. Defenseman's going to be allowed to come up with it. That's Matt Tremblay. Going to bring it up and forward. Tremblay tries a long shot. Yep, and knocks that one down. Ball hammered around the boards all the way to the blue line, but not out. Noel and Bishop out there on the penalty killing unit for the Newfoundland Black Horse. Ball thrown out to the net. Chance for Nathan Noel to come away with it now. Noel indeed will clear it down the floor. That will make Midnight have to tag up and get back on side. O'Keefe. Patrick O'Keefe now going to take it behind the net for Black Horse. O'Keefe under some pressure, but O'Keefe uses his speed. And he takes it and fires it down the floor. That'll give the Black Horse an opportunity to make a change. Tremblett. Trying to gain the line. Tremlett, sweet feed, finds a player, gets him in alone just as the penalty is expiring. Midnight with an opportunity here. Black Horse made a line change. Good job there by the Midnight defenseman, number 16. But here comes Marcus Power in alone. Power shot right on. Big save by De Geronimo. And a big play there by Mitchell Bryan of Midnight to stop a breakaway there for Newfoundland. Midnight coming back the other way. The Express. Shot on the wide side. That one's blocked by the defenseman. Actually, it was Zach O'Brien in a defensive position. Love the head is the pass going to be called. That'll bring the face off outside, but Yetman was there ready to make the save. Face-off going to be outside. Referees just realized the original reason why they blew the whistle was gloved ahead, so that will bring the face-off outside. Lots of discussion on the floor. Players feeling out process. Safe to say is probably over. As these guys are developing a, a little bit of what we should say maybe a dislike for one another here on the floor. Nothing wrong with that. Newfoundland Black Horse. 
up by two. Power. Power's going to gain the blue line. Power out there with Escott and O'Brien. O'Brien trying to feed one to the net to Escott. Escott couldn't get there. Good defensive play there. Faceoff will be in midnight zone. DiGeronimo is going to hold on. From the draw, Dayton Sofa for midnight. Chance to move it around. Sofa now in the corner. He's under some pressure from Martel. Martel for Bishop. Bishop holds. Bishop trying to wait out DiGeronimo. Bishop back for Martel. Martel shot. That one whistles high over the top of the net. Good patience there by Bishop, but Martel could not pull the trigger. Nathan Knoll now back for Bishop. Bishop looking to get Martel up top. Martel couldn't get it from Sofa. Sofa's going to move it out now, and away come the Midnight Express. Midnight trying to send Minovar Humdani down low. Humdani has the ball. Humdani fires one to the net, but nothing there, and away comes Bishop. Bishop tries a long pass for Martel. That one's nowhere near Danny, and the play will continue. Here comes Jordan Crocker now. Crocker going to fire it in. He'll get his own dump in, the speedy Jordan Crocker for the Midnight Express. Crocker. This one down low, shot out front. Gettman had to be careful with that one. Ball comes off the boards, and here comes Martel. Martel for Newfoundland. Martel had no one with him. Threw it across, but his blind mates were going for a change. There's a long shot on goal. Yetman steers that one aside. Brad Yetman in the corner to chase it down. Zach O'Brien, sorry, Connor Donahue is out there now. Martel still caught out there on a line change, deflected in front. Yetman steered that one aside. Crocker. Great shift here for Jordan Crocker. Here's a drive from the point. Inside, Crocker looking for the rebound there. Couldn't get it. And Martel has it for Black Horse. Martel trying to get it out. Can't get it there, though. Good pressure here by the Midnight Express. Mark Yetman recognizing that, and he's going to make a smart move and drop down and cover it up. With 5.56 left to go here in period one, the Newfoundland Black Horse to the Brampton Midnight Express. No score. From the draw, Tremlett wins it cleanly. Good face-off win. Hannon never got a real good wood on that shot, but Yevon had to be careful with it all the same. Newfoundland, Reed tries to knock it down, leaves it for Michael Dyke. Dyke back for Donahue. Donahue tries to bust through, no such luck. Dyke down for Mason Reed. Reed spins off a check of a Brampton player in the Midnight Express takeover. Here's Mentis. Mantis, he's going to leave it back for Hannon. And he'll run up the floor. Danny Rocca moves it across for Sean Hannon. Hannon, long lead pass in the middle. Looking for a guy. That's going to go all the way down for flooring, though. Pretty good move. By the midnight floor forward, just looking for the name. I think it was Randy Kelly. And the Midnight Express, I believe, might have just got a bench minor penalty. And that's going to give Black Horse their third power play of the period. The officials for this game look like we've got a Newfoundland official and an Ontario official. So for anybody wondering if the where the officials are from, I guess if there is a provincial bias, it's been canceled out. And for me, I never think referees are biased. Sometimes I don't think they're that smart, but I'd never say they were biased, for sure. Power play for Newfoundland Labrador, the black horse here. 5-12, left to go in period one. Express bench minor, two minutes, number 19. Face off, one by the Midnight Express, and they will fire the ball down the floor. Yetman steers that one aside. That was a tricky one. It was in between hops. On that, Jordan Eskett comes back and picks the ball up. Eskett fires one outside for Martel. Offside's going to be the call, though, as 
The official says Martell was over the line before the ball. That'll bring the face off back just outside the Newfoundland blue line. Newfoundland gonna go back to work here on the power play. Escott brings the ball up the floor. Escott for Donahue. Donahue back for Escott, and Newfoundland gained the line with some pretty good ease there. Martell fires the one down low for Power. Power put it out to O'Brien. O'Brien thought Donahue was there. Donahue left that position, went down low. Marcus Power trying to spin away from a check. Good defensive play there by the midnight defense from number 16, Mitchell Bryan. Ball out to the line, not quite out, kept in momentarily by Black Horse. Black Horse have got some numbers now on the attack. Here's O'Brien. O'Brien out for power, power can't handle that one. Martell shot right on big, glove save there by DiGeronimo. And he shows it to the world, holding on. Now I hope I'm not fooling this up again, folks, because. The goalie's wearing number 31. And on my roster, I have 31 as Daniel Medeiros. Anybody in there, out there in Ontario, following on, just give me a, a call on Twitter, will you? At Steve Power and Elf. Let me know if I'm fooling this one up again, because I'm going to feel ridiculous if I am. And it wouldn't surprise me if I am, because I am not the sharpest knife from drawer for sure. A minute left in the power play. Dyke out there with O'Keefe now. Second power play unit on the floor for the Blackhawks. Reed back for Dyke. Dyke to O'Keefe. O'Keefe looking to go across the ice for Reed. That one doesn't get through and it's blocked. The Midnight Express will send it back down. Patrick Yetman. Patrick O'Keefe. He's going to bring it up over the line himself. Finds Kevin Reed. Reed back for O'Keefe. O'Keefe mishandles the ball. That's going to send Hannon with a chance away for Midnight. Mike Dyke comes back quickly. Hannon, some good moves there, but O'Keefe manages to come back and pick it up. All alone in front of the net for the Midnight Express. Great penalty killing here. It was J.C. Gill found himself alone. Midnight almost with the shorthanded opportunity. Good run here by Black Horse, keeping the ball alive down low, but now the Midnight Express will once again bring it out. Penalty has expired. And not just a successful power play because penalty kill because they actually killed it off. But they created some good quality scoring chances that time with Brampton. And good on them for doing so. Kevin Reed fights for position down low. Face off will be in the Midnight Express territory. Newfoundland leads 2-0 here with 2.48 left to go in the first period. Falcons ball hockey straightened me out as you did last night, buddy. Thank you very much. It is Daniel Medeiros getting the call in between the pipes today. So you can say one thing, I guess I'm consistent when it comes to fooling off players. It's only the goalies, but thank you very much for letting me know. So we've got that established. We've got a little pushing and shoving going on down by the bench, right in front of the Black Horse bench. A little disagreement happening there. Not quite sure where it is or who it is. Difficult to see from up top. You know, we got big Danny Rocca in there for the Midnight Express, and he's a big lad back on the defense for that team. Not sure I'd want to be in disagreeing with him. If he wants an extra piece of pizza, I'd pass it over to him for sure. Number 74, Eric Tardiff without his helmet on. Another large lad, so to say. I know walking to the Bentley box is from the Black Horse seems to be Thomas Hedges. Hedge is not the sort of guy to shy away from that type of thing either. So with 2.25 left in the first, I've got to assume we've got offsetting minors, although we see the two officials having a little chat there, so you never know what's going to happen after that. Let's see what the calls are going to be. 
Edges and Tardif still jawing at one another on the way. I believe Newfoundland might be shorthanded here. See the all the talking is being done with Brad Yetman from Newfoundland. Although he's waving the old five on five wave, so I guess that's okay as far as they're concerned. Not much now the midnight player is discussing with the official. Oh no, we do have a penalty, a four minute penalty going to Newfoundland, and Danny Martell is going to go over and serve that penalty. Penalty's going to go to Hedges. So the Midnight Express. Gonna go to the power play. And an explanation going to it. This could be the longest penalty call in the history of penalty calls. Like, I think there's been court cases glued up quick, quicker than this. Four minute penalty. Now we got the calls coming over to public address system. Nonetheless, the Midnight Express going to the power play to end this first period. And they'd like nothing more than to get one and cut this lead in half. Midnight trying to gain the line. They do so. Good moves there by J.K. Gill. Gill's going to put it up top for Dayton Sofa now. Sofa. He's inside the blue line. Back for Gill. Newfoundland content to live, let them handle the ball up top. Minivar Humdani back for Gill. Gill shot, that one's blocked in front. And ball comes back out to the point for Gill, for Humdani. Humdani. Takes his time, he's going to throw it down low. Referee was in the way momentarily, but got out of there. Humdani back for Gill. Gill, big shot blocked there by Nathan Yetman off that drive from Gill. Gill has it once again. Gill. Ball chipped out to the line and goes out, and a good effort there by Danny Wicks. Danny Wicks and Nathan Yetman doing a fantastic job on the penalty kill here for the Newfoundland Black Horse. Ball settled down now once again. Here's Gill. Gill up top. J.K. Gill swings it down low. Midnight trying to attack from the low position now. Anthony Loveless, he puts it behind the net. I believe it's for Crocker. Brocker can't hold on to that one. Chance for Newfoundland to clear, but it's kept in. Now another chance for the clear. It'll be Brandon Bussey. Bussey trying to spin to his forehand. Now Bussey spinning to his backhand. He's under some pressure there from Crocker. Bussey stick handling like he's changing his clothes in a phone booth. Good hands there by Bussey, but it's finally turned over. Here's Midnight shot from the high slot. That one misses. Bussey misses that clearing attempt. There's a shot blocked by Alex Powell. Powell ate that one. Another shot, that one's blocked by Bussey. Three or four shots coming from midnight, but Yetman hasn't had to stop any of them yet. 20 seconds remain in the period. Gill, up top, puts it down for J.C. Gill. J.C., back to J.K., over for Hannon. Hannon winds, fires, and that one misses. 10 seconds remain, J.C. to J.K. Here's Gill. Gill puts it down low for Hannon. Hannon looking for someone sliding home, finds one foot, scores! Point one second left on the clock and that's a sweet feed by Hannon. Out front and Newfoundland's gotta be disappointed with that. Point one second left on the clock. I believe it might've been point three when the ball entered the net, but nonetheless, that is a good goal and great power play movement there by the Midnight Express, and they cut the lead in half. So after one period of play, the Newfoundland Labrador Black Horse, two, Brampton Midnight Express, one. You're watching 5TV1's coverage of the 2017 Canadian Ball Hockey Association National Championships here from St. John, New Brunswick.
Second period about to get underway here. Midnight Express scoring a late, and that's an understatement, late, extremely on the skin of their teeth late power play goal. 0.1 second left on the clock. And Midnight cut the lead in half. Midnight back to work. Pass in front, that one's blocked. Away comes Cody Donahue for Newfoundland. Well, that's interesting. The officials ruled the ball was out. It was cleared back in, but yet it wasn't a flooring call. See something new every day, I guess. Power can't hold on to that one. Here comes Eric Tardif. Tardif, he fires one wide, picked up on the other side by Gill. J.C. Gill. Puts it back to the point for Sofa. Sofa. The other side to Mentis. Chicky Mentis puts it down low for Eric Tardif. Tardif takes a little bump along the board for Bradley Yetman. Ball comes out for Escott. Escott knocks it back down in for Cody Donahue. Donahue, long lead pass. Trying to find Zach O'Brien, couldn't get there. Instead, it's picked off and away come to Midnight Express. J.C. Gill with the ball for Midnight. Here's Gill. Gill spins around. That shot got through a couple of different screens and Yetman had to be careful on that one. Ball goes all the way down the floor and flooring will be the call. 18-24 left to go in period two. The Brampton Midnight Express trailing the Newfoundland Labrador Black Horse by a score of two to one. Ball comes down the floor now. Midnight back in retreat. Clark Bishop is in there giving trouble for the Midnight defenseman. Bishop comes around, wrap around, tries the backhand. That one gets steered aside by Medeiros. Down for Nathan Knoll. Knoll under watch for live Mitchell Bryan. Knoll still holds on the right side. Knoll's going to spin it behind the net, looking to get it to Bishop. Bishop down low, and Medeiros comes out and holds on for the faceoff. Be sure to join TV1 Scott Squires and CTV's Sarah Lunny on the sideline scoop each Monday at 8.40 a.m. Atlantic, 9.10 a.m. Newfoundland time. Get up to date on Battle Line 5 TV1's local sports coverage with Scott and Cyril. That's the sideline scoop Mondays only on CTV Morning Live Atlantic. And I'm sure next Monday morning Scott and Sarah will have some highlights from this 2017 Canadian Ball Hockey Association Championship. And the best part about those highlights is they'll block out my voice. 17.45, left to go. Here's Donahue, Donahue under some pressure. That's chipped out by the Express. No flooring call, and that's gonna send O'Keefe back hard. Sean Hannon, hard after O'Keefe. Gonna be a penalty, Hannon. Took O'Keefe out, not once, but twice, and O'Keefe took an exception to the second one. It's going to be interesting to see what the call is. The original call certainly going against Hannon. It's going to be interesting to see if there's a retaliation call to O'Keefe. He took two smacks there. Wouldn't be that shocked if we see Hannon get two. But we'll have to see what the officials say. No motion for a Newfoundland player to go to the box, so it's certainly just midnight. It is going to be Hannon. So he's going to sit for two or less. Likely a body contact call. And as I just said, Hannon gets the gate for body checking. It wasn't for the boards there. Patrick O'Keefe probably would have been at least three rows up after that one. Gate is closing over there now. We're ready to go. Newfoundland to the power play. Midnight did a great job on the last penalty kill. Looking to do it again. Black Horse put the ball in deep, but it is stopped and launched out to the ice. 
looked out to the ice. Well done, Steve. Launch down the floor. Midnight, chance to clear it again. They do so. Black Horse with some difficulty coming over the line. Looks like the Midnight Express have made some adjustments on the penalty kill. Martel for Escott. Escott going to flip one in down low. Martel's going to go chase it down. Martel gets it. He takes a bump there from Loveless. Ball comes out to the line, kept in by Eska. Black Horse finally setting up shop in the zone. Here's Martel. Martel down low for Donahue. Donahue for power over for Donahue. Back for Eska. Eska going to put it for Martel. Martel backhand pass for power to Donahue. Nice save there by Medeiros. He managed to get a piece of that, either on the stick or a blocker, and that is a great save there by the Midnight Express goaltender, Daniel Medeiros. Wow. I think Cody Donahue had his hands in the air ready to celebrate on that one, but Medeiros coming up huge with that save. Face off to the right to the left of Medeiros. Face off one by the Black Horse. Ball moved down for Escott. Escott down low for Power. Power trying Donahue again with the exact same play they just made. Martel fires one from the side. Here's Escott. Escott to Power. Back to Martel. Martel trying to flip one gently into Zach O'Brien in the slot. O'Brien couldn't hold on to that one. 36 seconds remain in the power play. No line change from either squad, so I guess we can assume it's the best on best here now. Penalty killer's not changing, forward's not changing. Let's go. Face off, won by the Express. Hammered around by Mentis. That doesn't get all the way, though. It's going to be kept in at the line by Donahue. Donahue back for Martel. Martel to Escott. Escott shoots, scores! Escott with the quick one-timer and Black Horse try a different tack this time. They've been throwing the ball around like they own and this time they just make one pass and hammer it home. Jordan Escott dents the twine on the power play and the Black Horse restore a two-goal lead. Fifteen fifty-six left to go in this second half. Three to one, Newfoundland over the Brampton Midnight Express from Ontario. O'Keefe advances the ball up the middle for Wadden. Wadden chips it down low. Nathan Yetman's in to give chase. Yetman causing fits for the Brampton defenseman. Yetman chips it for Wicks. Here's Danny Wicks. Wicks in the slot. Wicks winds, fires. That one rattles wide, though. Brampton moving out. Crocker trying to be first to the ball for the Midnight Express. Crocker's there, but O'Keefe picks it up. O'Keefe puts it back for Dyke. Dyke for O'Keefe. Now it's to Yetman. Yetman going to move it for Wadden. Wadden comes away with it. Wadden knifes it out to the zone, looking to get it to Wicks. Wicks can't come away with it. It's going to be... James Checky Mantis moves it up for Midnight. Here's Midnight in alone. Midnight shoots, scores! Great effort there by the Midnight Express. And a fantastic net drive at the end. I'll get the number for you in a second, but he finished it off. Great individual effort there by Eric Tardif. Tardif made the play, and I believe it might have been Jordan Crocker that finished it off. Yes, indeed, it was Crocker. Crocker from Tardif and Midnight answer right away after the power play goal. And we're back to within one. It's three to two. Ball into Newfoundland territory. Trenholm's going to put it around the wall. Picked up on the other side by Donahue. Now it's Mason Reed. Reed chips one off the boards, looking to get it for Donahue. Donahue knocks it down out of the air, and he's going to come down and put it in deep. Connor Donahue giving chase for the ball. Good defensive position there by the Midnight Express defenseman Danny Rocca. Back to the point for Brad Yetman. Yetman's shot. That one's deflected wide. Donahue down for Mason Reed. 
Mason Reed, backhand pass, looking for Kevin Reed in front. Reed knocks it out of midair. Just went over the top of the net. Medeiros had to be careful with that one. Reed for Donahue, Connor Donahue behind the net. Donahue in the high slot looking for Kevin Reed. Reed picks it up. Ball's knocked out to the line and away come the Midnight Express. It's J.K. Gill. Gill trying to bust his way through. Can't get there. Joe Trenholm will pick it up for the Black Horse. Here comes Trenholm. Trenholm gains the red line, puts it in deep, and Clark Bishop in there quickly on the ball for the Black Horse. Good quick up there, and here comes Sofa for Midnight. Sofa, pass for Hannon. Hannon into the slot. Couldn't get good wood on that one was Mike Porter. Nice pass by Hannon. Porter just couldn't get a good shot off. Ball is intercepted by Hannon. Shot right on. Yetman's there to make the save. Ball comes to the red line and out. Nathan Knoll there to pressure. Sofa now. Sofa up for Tremlett. Tremlett to Porter. Porter's shot is blocked by Bussey. Ball comes out to the front of the net now. Knocked down by Alex Powell. Powell chips one up for Martell. Martell to Bishop. Bishop and Noel, they've got a two on one. Sofa coming back hard on the back check though. He's gonna break up that scoring chance for the Black Horse. Great back check there by the Midnight Express. O'Keefe down low, a lot of chatter going on. Something must have happened behind the play because Midnight not too happy at all. And the stick lying on the floor might be the evidence. Here's Noel. Noel, cross feed for Bishop. Bishop, he's under some pressure right away. Bishop puts it in the high slot for Noel. Noel knocks it down for Martell. Here's Martell. Martell trying to spin away from a check. Martell in the high slot, stick handling. No one there to move it. Martell still has it though for Bishop. Bishop winds, fires, that one's wide. Nathan Noel have it. Black Horse holding on the ball like they're on a power play here. Noel, the Midnight Express content just to box up and let Black Horse keep the ball on the outside. Noel throws one to the side. Martell is going to run and get that one down. Here's Martell. Martell cycles down low. Black Horse going to look for a change. And they will finally move the ball out. Both teams going to get in a line change now. And here come the Midnight Express. 11.50 left to go. Starting to approach the midway point of the second half. James Mentis in shouting out instructions to Dayton Sofa. Sofa looking for the long bomb pass to Tardif. Black Horse back in good defensive position to stop that. Here's Crocker. Crocker chips one up along the boards. That's going to come all the way down the floor. Yetman, he gets there first. Now O'Keefe's going to hammer it out. Comes all the way down to the other side. Escott tries to knock it down. Nice play there by the Midnight Express defenseman. And we're going to have a penalty. It's going to go against Mike Dyke of Black Horse. Tripping will be the call. The Midnight Express going to go to the power play here with 11.14 left to go in period number two. So midnight to the power play now. Big opportunity here for them to knock this affair at three. Ball comes out in front. There's a pass cross corner. Big block in front by Alex Powell there. Off that one time shot. Here's Gill. Gill puts it down low for M. Danny. M. Danny another one timer. Yetman was there though and that one sails over the top of the net. Black Horse. Trying to get the ball out is Nathan Yetman. Ball comes to the line but doesn't get out. J.K. Gill's gonna hold it in. Gill being chased all the way across by Yetman. Ball's gonna come down behind the net for Alex Powell. Powell, he's under some pressure from Tremlett. Tardiff there to help out. Bradley Yetman's gonna take it away. And he'll move it up the floor for Wicks. Danny Wicks, he's gonna hold on to the ball here for the Black Horse. Wicks 
on the backhand. Unfortunately, he backhands it over the glass, and that'll bring the faceoff back outside. 108 left to go in the power play. Very, very entertaining hockey game here at the Harbor Station. Newfoundland, Ontario, 3-2 for Newfoundland. Face off, one by the Express. They're going to stop and settle things down now. Robert Mentis comes in. He's going to try a long dump in. That was meant more of a pass than a shot for sure. Ball comes back. Cut Donnie, he can't get to it. Comes back for Mentis. Mentis, he's going to switch spots with Dayton Sofa. Mentis shot. That one misses. And the rebound is picked up by the Black Horse defenseman, Brandon Bussey, and he fires it down the floor. Mentis gonna take his time, walk this one up. 30 seconds still left to go in the power play. And the Midnight Express gained the line. Nice pass by Mentis, just finding the stick there. Sofa, he's gonna kick it down low. Hannon is the shooter here on the left side that the Express are looking for, the right-handed shooting, Sean Hannon. Mentis puts one in the slot. There's a backhand shot. Yetman had to be careful with that one. Ball out. Shot right on. That one's deflected. Shot from J.C. Gill was deflected. And just as the penalty expires, Black Horse will clear the ball down the floor. Teams add even strength. Danique Martel sticks that one out. He's got Bishop with him. Martel to Bishop. The Noel. Shot right on. Big save there by Medeiros. As he flashes the leather and Danik Martel reaches down to let him know that was a nice save. 8.59 left to go and that might be a game saver there in the trapper of Daniel Medeiros. I can tell you this Midnight Express team not only are they good but I can guarantee you they have got goaltending both David DiGeronimo and Daniel Medeiros putting on a show here in the first two games at this year's event, the Canadian Ball Hockey Nationals. Balls wrapped around for the Midnight Express. Out comes J.K. Gill. Gill got a good rush coming down the side. Gill is pulled down. There's going to be a penalty. Cody Donahue going to get the box there for tripping. Donahue not too happy with that call, but Gill got a step on him and got through. So the Express going to go right back to the power play with 8.47 left to go here in the second half. Another big power play opportunity for Brampton. Midnight now on the power play. They're going to stop settling things down. Sofa, he's going to kick it out. There's a quick shot off the stick of J.K. Gill. That one doesn't get through. Gill now at the point again. Gill moves it across for Loveless. Loveless to the other side now for Sofa. Sofa under some pressure there from Nathan Knoll. Ball comes back for Gill. Gill. Puts one down. Black Horse being very aggressive on this penalty kill. Bradley Yetman tries to get to it. Ball is knocked out. Here's a chance for Black Horse to clear it, and they do indeed do so. Yetman is in some discomfort over there on the boards. I don't think Yetman can move. He's, he's got some kind of ankle or knee issue. It's his leg. He basically has to referee to blow the whistle. I don't think he could have got to the bench on his own. Not quite sure what happened there. Might be, it certainly looks like a muscle thing. And it is his leg. 7.56 left to go here in the second half. A buck 10 left in the power play. I think the Express are wondering why the whistle went. The player was injured. And the, I, can, I can see their point if the ball is in the offensive zone. They got a chance to score. But when the ball's 185 feet from the net, I think it's a good job by the referee to 
blow the whistle there. And I tell you what, if that's an injury that's going to take Yetman out of any time, that's a bad one for the Newfoundland Black Horse. Brad Yetman, one of the best defensemen in the tournament, certainly one of the best defensemen on the Black Horse. From the draw. Hannon's going to leave it back for Mentis. Robert Mentis, a guy with his considerable experience, certainly knows how to gain that line. He does it quite well. Bossy gets that rebound off the shot, and he's going to fire it down to Florida and kill some more time off the clock. Mentis going to come back again with it. Midnight trying to get in motion. That might be a flooring call, though, and indeed it is as Powell gets there first. 42 seconds left in the penalty, and I'm giving Chicky some credit here, but he, a couple of plays there he'd, I'm sure he'd like to have back, and Robert Mint is smart enough to know he's going to take himself off the floor. Aaron Gill's coming back out to handle it. Face off in Midnight Express territory. Yetman, Nathan Yetman gets it back for Alex Powell. Powell's going to fire it down the floor again. 25 seconds remain in the power play. Time for another rush for the Midnight Express. Midnight up the floor trying to gain the line. They do so. Good ball entry here. Matt Tremblett is the guy up top now. Here's Tremblett. Tremblett for Hannon. Hannon likes to shoot. Hannon puts it down low, trying to put one in deep. Can't get it there, and away comes Wicks. That's going to do it for the power play. Danny Wicks going to put it in deep. Newfoundland Black Horse with a line change. The line of O'Brien, Power, and Escott going to step out. Also some line changes being made by Midnight here now. As they're going to get their power play unit off and get back to five-on-five -five action. Ham Danny having a game of catch with his defensive partner there. Paul's going to come out the other side. And we've got a penalty coming up. I think it might be going against, I know O'Keefe has his helmet knocked off, but he might be the one getting the penalty for interference here. And it is O'Keefe indeed going to go to the box. So that's three in a row to the Black Horse here in this second half. Black Horse playing with fire here, only up by a goal. And that's their third penalty in their penalties. Not much complaining coming from the bench, I don't think. Maybe there is, I can't hear it up here, but referee's going to call that every time. Midnight on the power play. There's a shot from the side from Gill. Yetman was there, had that covered all day long. Good pressure here by the Express, Ham Danny. He works hard, gets the ball down low. Ham Danny sidesteps Bussy. Ham Danny puts it out, shot short side. That rattles over the top of the net. Donahue in a foot race, but Eric Cardiff's going to hold on to it for Midnight. Sorry, check that. That's Anthony Loveless. Back for Sofa. Sofa, he's got Gill on the right side. They're going to kick it down low. Gill drives the net as well. Cross feed pass for Loveless. Loveless under pressure right away from Kevin Reed, a black horse. Reed goes down. There's going to be a penalty here, and that's going to do it for that power play. As Kevin Reed was upended, taking the ball from Loveless, tripping will be the call. So we're going to have some four on four for minute and nine. And I. Fairly certain we'll see Danik Martell come over the boards. Yeah, as it's out of my mouth, there he is. I don't know if there's a faster player in the tournament than Martell. Him and Nathan Noel and Clark Bishop goes off now. This is going to be a fast line. Let's see who Midnight counters with. Hanning can run as well. They've got some speedsters on that Midnight team too. That's why this game is so good, folks. Ball hockey at its finest here this week. 
here in St. John, New Brunswick. Best players in the country on hand trying to win a national championship. Here's a shot from the point. That one was deflected off the stick of Thomas Hedges. Dyke steps up, keeps it in momentarily for Nathan Noel. Noel gets it back for Dyke. Dyke winds, fires, misses. Kind of comes down to Martell. Martell for Noel. Noel back to Martell. Martell back for Dyke. Dyke to Hedges. Hedges one touch pass, brings it out. Tries to put it back down low for Martell. Can't get there. Here's Martell. Martell one on one, tries to beat through. Martell good drive to the net. Martell shoots. That's knocked out of midair with the glove of the defenseman, James Mentis. What a play by Chicky Mentis there. That ball's going into the net. And Chicky gets the old scoop out and knocks it out of midair. Smart enough not to close his hand or cover it either. Great play by Mentis there. Here comes Martell. Martell gets over the line, beats his man. Black Horse has got some bodies going to the net. Martell walking out the corner himself. Martell shoots. Nice save by Medeiros on the blocker side. Got to be kept in by Black Horse. There's a shot. Medeiros easily steers that one aside. Midnight with a chance to come away with it. They're shorthanded for the next 40 seconds. Midnight not in any hurry to bring that ball out. Marcus Power flushes them out one side. Midnight going to come down the floor. Black Horse not pressuring the ball, though. I don't know if they realize they're on the power play or not. And Midnight certainly knows they're shorthanded, so they're just going to kill off some time here. Express player number 67. Anybody in their Twitter world wants to help me out with who he is? I don't have his name here. Here's a shot on goal. That one's driven down low. Cody Donahue back to pick it up. Only five seconds remain in the power play. Here's Escott. Escott turns it over. Midnight. Coming back is Tremblett. Tremblett. He over stick handles that one. And Escott has a chance to come away with it. Moves it up for O'Brien. O'Brien down for power. Power to the point to O'Keefe. O'Keefe for Donahue. Donahue winds, fires. That one's deflected. Rebound. Comes out front, good play there by number 94, Anthony Loveless using his body to keep power out of harm's way. There's a shot on goal, Yetman's gonna steer that one, leaves it for his defenseman, O'Keefe. O'Keefe, pass for Escott. Escott puts it down low, he loses it, and away comes Hannon, I believe, for J.K. Gill, sorry, for the Midnight Express. Here's a shot from the point. Midnight had a player in front of the net. Couldn't pick it up, though. O'Keefe gives it away. Midnight comes in. There's a shot, and Mark Yetman will stop and hold on to that one for a faceoff. 2.27 left to go. 3-2 Newfoundland over to the Brampton Midnight Express. Face off to the left of Mark Yetman. Connor Donahue escorted from the face off circle. That's going to bring in Kevin Reed to take it. Reed does his job and wins the draw. Dayton Sofa pinches up. Good play there by the Express defenseman, but he can't come away with it. Here comes Donahue. Donahue to Reed. Kevin Reed. Nathan Yetman's joined Connor Donahue and Kevin Reed now on this line. That's a good move by Coach Moores. Donahue. Finding some room up top. He's going to put it to the point for Powell. Powell's shot is deflected. Here comes Midnight. Brandon Bussey stands up his man at the line. Here comes Nathan Yetman. Yetman's going to put it down deep. He'll just chip the ball ahead to himself. Yetman behind the net for Kevin Reed. Reed trying to find some space out for Connor Donahue. Back for Reed. Reed holding on the ball to the wall. If uh, Newfoundland's smart, they're just going to keep it on the outside there. Midnight not really going after him, pressure him. I don't know if I was the Black Horse team. I don't think I'd be worried about going to the net there. 133 left. Up by a goal. Face off will be in their zone. The clock for shots on goal reading 25 24 in favor of Brampton. And you know something that's. Probably right. Most times I think shot clocks are a little overestimated, but the Midnight Express and Black Horse in a very even game here right now. 
Ball's wrapped around the boards. It's going to come out. O'Keefe is there to get it for Newfoundland. Here's a chance for the Express. Partial break. Good back check there by Cody Donahue. Going to be a penalty, though. And we'll have to see the referee's arms up. Both referee's arms are up. I think they're going to converse with each other, make sure they have the same call. Both of them do indeed have a tripping call. And it's going to be Cody Donahue. Or is it Clark Bishop? Clark Bishop going to go to the box for tripping. And Hannon and O'Keefe are just jawing at each other. I think they might have started talking to each other when they got off the plane. Those two guys have been jawing at each other most of this hockey game for sure. So, power play for Brampton. A minute 18 left. They're going to call a timeout. We'll be right back. Timeout is over. Team's ready to go to work. Face-off is going to be to the right of Black Horse goaltender Mark Yetman. Tremlett stepping in against Donahue. Donahue wins it. O'Keefe fires one around the boards, but it's going to be kept in at the other side. Good run there by Munavar Hamdani for the Express. Ball comes back to the line. Tremlett comes back and keeps it in. Good give and go. Here comes Tremlett. Tremlett down low. He can't move it. O'Keefe battles for possession with Hamdani. Ball comes around the other side, chipped out, chance for Black Horse to clear it, and they do so. Nice play there by Alex Powell. Move that ball up for Nathan Knoll. Goaltender now coming to the bench for the extra attacker for midnight. Long drive. That one takes a funny hop. Got to bounce into the grease. Yetman had to be careful with that one. O'Keefe. Ball's on his stick momentarily. He's immediately double teamed. Good job by O'Keefe trying to keep it away. But eventually the Express will take it out. Hemdani down in the corner. Hemdani trying to get it to a scoring position. Now it comes back. Tremblett moves it down for Mentis. Mentis to Tremblett. Tremblett shot. That one's blocked in the slot by Connor Donahue. Back for Tremblett once again. Ten seconds left. Tremblett, another shot. No one saw that one. I think it might have hit the post. Shot in the slot, and that's going to do it. Donahue fires it down, and that's the ball game. Newfoundland Black Horse holds on by a score of three to two. Great hockey game here at the Harbor Station. For you this afternoon. We'll be back with our continuing coverage on 5TV1 of the 2017 Canadian Ball Hockey Association National Championship from the Harbor Station and Lord Beaverbrook Arena in St. John, New Brunswick.
for the Blackboards, Newfoundland, number 47, Zach O'Brien. 